Hello everyone, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. We're going to go ahead and um, paint the newest of our mini door um, seasonal sets. Um, so let's get started. Let me bring you in here so you can get a better view. Alright, this comes with a doormat, a snowman, a porch sign, and a door hanger. Um, the mini door is sold separately. So, for the bigger areas, I like to go ahead and use paint rather than the markers. So we're gonna do our snowman. These are dabbers. You can get these at um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. You can get them online at Amazon. Just a lot of places that sell these. It's just a way of trying to keep it out of the lines. Now those lines are there because there are pieces that um, go on there. It's kind of like an outline so you know where they go. We'll just go ahead and give those a coat. Now, looks like I got a little bit on the side there. I always keep diaper wipes handy. These are from Walmart. But it's just a way to clean up your edges if the paint gets over the edge. There we go. Keep that separate. We have a summer set, we have a fall set, and now this is our winter set. Sometimes I like to go back over when it dries and give it a second coat. It just comes out whiter. Now these are the little stands. These two small ones are for the snowman and these two longer ones are for the porch sign. So what we're going to do, you do not have to paint the inside so we might as well just go ahead and glue it together now. Sometimes you got to stick a pin down in there to open that back up. This is um, CA Thick. It's a really good glue. I would not recommend the CA Thin. It's too watery and it does not work near as well as the CA Thick. I only need a couple of dabs. I glue them together this way, so all you have to do is paint the top and the bottom, and this way you don't get them mixed up. <coughs> Excuse me. So, set those aside a minute. On my snowflakes, I definitely want to do those white. See, I'm just dabbing some of it off because I don't want to get it on the sides if possible. <coughs> now the 
door I painted for the previous sets is like a wood color, so this will probably be nice. Mm, I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to paint the back of it, though. I always use like a little ribbon or a little of the twine to make the hanger for this. That sometimes helps it get in the cracks. There we go. Now let's go back and do the snowman again because he's getting kind of dry. Make sure we don't have any on the sides. I try not to start dabbing near the letters. I try to dab in an open spot because that gets a little more of the paint off. Snowflakes again. Okay. So I think for this base, I'm going to do this black. These are the Posca paint markers. Do the same for the porch one. I'm trying to stay with the green of the wood.
Now, I'm trying to think. I kind of like this color as the doormat. And that's pretty good. So I'm going to actually take my littlest angle brush here. I could have dabbed this, but I don't want to because I actually want to do the welcome in black. So that's why I'm painting this. I also could have stained this. And then went back over and done the letters. Or I could have used my Posco marker. Now I'm just trying to get around the letters.
this is the most tedious part and like I said I could have stained it and made it easier but I kind of like this color looks like a real doormat the one you see with the like raised straw I'll call it for lack of knowing what it is sweeping to the outside because I don't want to come across this way and get it on the side. So I'm sweeping in this direction to keep it on the top. Like I said, you can do it a different color you could do it um, however you want. You could have painted the whole thing with paint markers if you wanted. This is just the color I chose to do. go back and just make sure I don't have you see I'm getting some of this black off sometimes that's left over from the laser so sometimes you might want to check and just wipe everything down before you start painting too there's that and we'll let that dry and then we're going to do the letters in black all right And if you weren't sure about how steady your hand was, you could go ahead and tape across here and paint black on the top if you wanted. Now I find it easier to glue the pieces on and paint them when they're in place. Or if you were going to add another coat to this, you could always take painter's tape, the back of it, and attach your pieces there. Right. 
Sometimes you can use tweezers to put these in place or jewelry um, pliers. And then we'll do his little buttons. See how bright that is. Yeah, that's a pretty good carrot nose. Then we need his mouth or her mouth. Or let's see. Do I want that? Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Up oh, and use hands. Probably going to go ahead and give him some kind of a scarf also. But there is our little snowman. Now I think I want to do another coat on here. matter too much with this because we're going to be putting everything on top of. The letters. Alright, now this takes the big snowflake. So, it goes that way. Now maybe to make this snowflake stand out, I may just add a little glitter to it. Is it really, it'll stand out from the sign, but I think it would do better making it look a little different. Let's glue all our letters on. <clears throat> I always double check my letters <clears throat> before I glue them on to make sure I have the right side.
For these, I'm going to use blue. No, don't know that I like that blue. And it's not working very well. So let's try this blue. Yes. Nice thing about these sets, if you go ahead and do them and you decide you don't like that color, you can change it. You can go back and repaint them. If you've used your marker, I would paint it another color and then go back and change it after that base coat dries. since I am going to put a little glitter on the snowflake. I'm just going to use a little bit of this. has that blue kind of in it. There. And then this goes in here and stands next to the door. And we take this and save our glitter. Could even add some glitter to our snowman too to kind of give him that look. Now, I think for this, I'm going to go ahead and use this color. It's a dark door, and I think this color will look really nice against it. And we're going to be gluing a snowflake over that. And we're just coloring over and not going in the lines of the letters. So that'll show through really nice. And see this is what we could have done with our doormat if we wanted to. Sometimes the best time, way to get in and out is just by dabbing it like you do your dabber. Because you're just lightly touching the wood on top. You're not touching what's in the groove of the letter.
So now we're going to glue our snowflake in place. Let's go ahead and give that a little snow on it. going to try something. I think I want this a little bit darker. So I actually have, I don't know if you've seen these, these are our paint storage containers. We also sell those. They're handmade by us. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of practice on the on the back because I want to see if this can work the way I want it and if it doesn't it's on the back it's not going to be a big deal so what I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit of this folk art um, wax it's actually the antique brown wax and with that you just stab a little on and then you rub it in and like I said I'm going the way the green is see I kind of like that it's darker it kind of goes with the lettering on there instead of like that so I guess we're going to do that to the rest of it Yes, I like that better. So I actually use the um, Golden Sunset first, and now I'm going over it with the wax, the antique wax. I think it just gives it a better look. So now I think going to see what the brown looks like. And I'm just going to dab because I don't want to go out of the line. I want to stay in the line. And really probably with this one you would be better off using a fine point, but I don't have this in fine point. So that's why I'm dabbing. I'm actually letting the tip of this work for me.
so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this but mat or door hanger all right now we're going to need to finish up the door hanger so let me just push all this out of the way Okay, now what we're going to do, I have the door here. I'll show you our fall set. We have a little pumpkin on the door. We have the little pumpkin that stands on the side. We have the porch, porch sign. And then we have the little doormat. So, we're going to take all this away. And we are going to create our little fall, our little winter doorscape. Him, I have to glue in there, but I want to finish painting the back of it. So we're going to actually take this, and we're going to use this. going to bend this over the end of the pipe cleaner and use that to push it through. There we go. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through this hole run it across like that and push it through the hole again. And then we're going to knot the end about the right size. So I'm going to trim this and then I'm going to make a little bow. got my little bow but I'm going to need to tie a little knot in the middle when you make wreaths you still need a bow there we go Put the bow right up there to cover up that. And we'll hang it on our door. And 
we are done. How does that look? The door is sold separate. Comes with all the pieces, even the doorknob and the lock. And then these individual sets are separate. There you've got your door hanger, your mat. And then we have a summer one, so fall, winter, summer, and then we'll need to do spring. And all I did with these was just add a little piece of um, plastic vine on it. But there you go. There is our welcome mat, along with our porch sign, door, and little snowman. I thank you all for joining me. And I will see you again soon.